So the first thing we're going to do is start cutting up our soap base. We're going to cut it up into small squares or cubes so that we can put it in our double boiler and begin boiling. Before you begin this process, you want to make sure that you've already previously began preheating your double boiler so that once you're finished cutting up your soap, you can now start adding the cubes to your preheated double boiler. Now, once you've cut up your cubes, you also want to add them into your double boiler slowly if you have a small double boiler just like I do so that your soap doesn't go over the pot and fall into your water. As you're placing your soap in your double boiler, you want to begin mixing. You want to make sure that you get all around the edges so that all of the soap is combined and everything will be equally melted. Continue this process until the soap base is fully melted. While my soap continues to melt, I'm gonna begin adding some oats into my soap mold. This is going to really help with your end result. Take a peek inside of my double boiler. This is what the soap base looks like once it's fully melted. Now, this is your time to shine. This is when you want to begin to add whatever it is that you're gonna be adding into your soap. I'm going to grab my already previously crushed up oats and put some into my soap base to give that real oatmeal effect. Now I'm going to add my warm vanilla sugar fragrance oil straight to my soap base. I add 25 drops. I like the smell to be really strong. I don't know about you guys, but that's how I like it. Some people might say it's a little excessive, but you can do it to your liking. Now you see I'm going to add two drops of yellow soap coloring to my base just to give it a little bit of pigment. Now that our soap base is melted, we can grab our mold and get that ready to go. This is what it looks like once I added those extra oats to it. Now we can take our fully melted soap base and we can actually begin to spray our mold with some alcohol so that our soap doesn't appear bubbly once it's fully solidified. So now we're going to take our soap base that's fully melted and pour straight into our molds. This is the fun part, you guys. This is the part that I look forward to because once this soap cools down, we are going to have a masterpiece. Now, do you guys see those bubbles? You're gonna take your alcohol spray and spray them so that you can get rid of them because if you do not, they're going to appear in your final result and you do not want that. Now for a little razzle dazzle, I'm going to also add some more oats to my soap mold. When your soap fully solidifies, you will begin to see these oats and it's so pretty how they just stick out of the soap and 
it's such a pretty sight so if you guys want a little extra razzle dazzle i definitely recommend adding some more oats to your soap base after you've poured in your soap so here's a view for you guys this is what it looks like once i've poured it in after one hour of cooling this is what our soap is beginning to look like you guys it's already starting to look beautiful here is the soap after two hours of solidifying one more hour to go and i'm going to pop these babies out of the mold but look how gorgeous they're already turning out omg i can't wait to see the final result and finally we're going to remove our soap from the mold And here we have it. Our soap looks so beautiful. And I am so happy with the results. I don't see any bubbles. And I'm so proud. You guys, if you like what you see, please thumbs up this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Look at this. You can see all of the oats all embedded inside of the soap. Oh my God. This was super awesome. And I can't wait to do another batch. Thank you.